quite frankly, after looking into the UK column and this whole Atford thing, I really don't want to do another video on it, quite frankly, because after finding out basically this, this is probably the biggest thing why I do not want to deal with the UK column ever again or do anything about them, unless they do something as similarly as stupid, which I'm sure they will. <sighs> but anyway, many of you may or may not heard of um, a an allegation, I think it was must have been uh, either last year or sometimes around that, I can't remember the exact dates now, but I'll leave a, a link to the website where you can get all the information about this. Um, it's called, or known as now, the Holly Gregg hoax, where um, someone came forward claiming to be abused and basically pointed uh, fingers at a load of different people and basically they found out she was lying. Now, people like the UK Column and other such conspiracy theorists who have been saying for years that, oh, you know, the the government are just, you know, covering up, you know, these paedophile rings and, you know, there's like a paedophile general in, in every corner of the country, you know, directing these people. And you may laugh at that, but yes, that is what some of these people are actually saying. <sighs> so anyway, we've got on to basically the UK column and the UK column has been the biggest pusher of this now the my advice to the uh, to the Holly Gregg hoax group is you've complained to Ofcom good you've complained to Atvod good uh, I'd make a similar complaint again uh, depending on their reply uh, if they sent you a reply and I'd also recommend if they've ever printed anything about it making photocopies of the paper and sending it into the um I can't remember what it name is now but the journalism complaints board I can't remember what they call that off the top of my head oh it'll come to me during the video I'll be like yeah <laughs> I'll press record it'll stop but yeah <coughs> Make a complaint to them. If they've ever done anything in print, then they are your direct one. And if they've ever made anything on, on their website, then I'd recommend uh, basically getting a lawyer and suing them directly. But this again feeds into the whole Atvod complaint system because, guess what? The group made a complaint to Ofcom about um, one of their guests that has been put in prison uh, for basically defamation. Um, so what did Ofcom say? Um, I made this complaint to Ofcom and the reply they said we understand that the UK column does not broadcast a linear TV-like service and as such is not bound by our regulations. It appears that the UK column invites users to select content from a list of as live programmes, which is updated daily. They are an on-demand service. Sorry, Ofcom. Ofcom pretty much says yeah, they're an on-demand service. With this in mind, you may wish to submit this complaint to Atvod. So, yeah, sorry. Atvod has a damn good case to be regulating them in this case. And, quite frankly, when you look into the whole Holly Gregg thing and the fact that they've been you know, promoting, you know, these people that have been sprouting this and reporting about it themselves, then, yes, people like this do need to be regulated because, quite frankly, you can't just go on the internet and then point literally at someone and say, oh, 
these people are paedophiles, they're being accused of this. So, yeah, they need to be regulated. Sorry, they do. Um, and again, people are saying, oh, um, you know, you know, then they just need to confront them in court. Well, guess what? Go and confront them in court, UK column. Don't whine and complain about it. Go actually, you know, if you think you've got a case, then go, go to it then. Have at it. You know, that's what the law is there for. If you think you're being treated unfairly, then go to court over it. But they won't. They won't, because this is all just complete nonsense. Again, they are a non not-for-profit organisation, and Atvod would charge them £91, which at the end of the day is tax-deductible. At the end of the day, when it comes to doing taxes, that £91 will be deductible at their total tax amount. So, again, I'm sorry, but they could pay it easily. I'm sorry, but they could. I've seen their, you know, I've seen their studios, I've seen the equipment they've got. They can, if they can afford that studio and that equipment, sorry, they can afford to pay a, a, that pittance that is £91. Because I know how much some of that equipment costs. And trust me, one one of their cameras, they could pay, if they could pay that £91 several, if not ten times over, maybe even more. So, yeah. I'm not buying it. They... Atvod have every right to uh, regulate them in this case. And quite frankly, when you look at the Holly Gregg stuff that they've been, you know, shouting about and saying, oh yes, we are, you know, and having the, you know, the guests on, then sorry, they need to be regulated. And if you don't feel like it, well then, you know, encourage UK Column to go to court over it because that's what you do if you disagree with this type of action, then you should go to court over it. And I know there's going to be some people saying, oh, but that's their strategy, to tie them up in court. Well, guess what? If you think that's the case, then you can make the case to the judge that that is what they are doing to you. And guess what? You could probably win if that's what they are doing. But, you know, they won't, because they're milking it. And I guarantee, I guarantee within... A couple of weeks, all their videos will be back up, just the same, and it'll be business as usual. So, that's basically the last I'm going to say on the whole AppFod situation and the UK column situation. Because, quite frankly, if they're willing to go out of their way and lie and not do proper journalism as they claim they are doing, and, you know, reporting the truth, because, you know, the truth apparently is so important to them, but, you know, they have... Basically, people come on and make wild accusations that, you know, ended up in jail because of making those accusations, then I'm sorry, you are not real journalists, and quite frankly, you don't deserve any more of my time.